Welcome to Whooping Wednesday at the Premier Handball League. In the first encounter of the day, we have Maharashtra and men going head to head with Garvid Gujarat. With their eyes set on maintaining their winning streak, all attention will be on the Maharashtra's Jalal Kiani and Igor Chiselyov as they aim to overpower their opponents with their attacking prowess. After a tense tie against Uttar Pradesh, Garvid Gujarat is determined to secure both points this time round. Moving to the second day of the day, it's Telugu Talons facing off against the Rajasthan Patriots. Rajasthan will be relying. So, okay, flat. Moving on to the, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll slow down a bit. Moving the second game of the day, Telugu Talons facing off against the Rajasthan Patriots. Rajasthan will be relying on another match-winning performance from their super keeper and skipper Atul Kumar. On the other hand, Fernando Nuzza and this is the Green Army will look forward. Look towards their star attacker Nasib Singh to get back on the winning ways. That should be fine. I just started late on the second one, so that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maharashtra Ironmen are top of the league with three wins in their first four games, coached by Dr. Sunil Kumar. It's ironic because Dr. Sunil Taneja is sitting in the commentary box just next to us. They have six points with a goal difference of 28, which is by far the best in the league. Happy? Thank you. to Whooping Wednesday at the Premier Handball League. In the first encounter of the day, we have Maharashtra Ironman going head-to-head -head with Garvid Gujarat. With their eyes set on maintaining their winning streak, all attention will be on Maharashtra's Jalal Kiani and Igor Chiselyov as they aim to overpower their opponents with their attacking prowess. After a tense tie against Uttar Pradesh, Garvid Gujarat is determined to secure both points this time round. Moving on to the second game of the day, it's Telugu Talons facing off against Rajasthan Patriots. Rajasthan will be relying on another match-winning performance from their super-keeper and skipper, Atul Kumar. On the other hand, Fernando Nunes' Green Army will be looking towards their star attacker, Nasib Singh, to get back on their winning ways. So two matches here tonight, Lake Drong, Telugu Talons take on the Rajasthan Patriots, but coming up next, Maharashtra Ironmen are up against Garvit Gujarat. Spectators are making their way in now and are ready for an exciting evening of handball here in the Premier Handball League. This is how the table looks at the moment then, the Maharashtra Ironmen are top of the table. Six points from a possible eight, along with Rajasthan Patriots. The Telugu Talents and Delhi Panthers behind on four points, while Gubit, Garvit Gujarat are down in fifth place on three points. So if you're new to the game, we can give you the basics of the game. Handball match consists of two halves of 30 minutes each, each team. 
Has seven players on court, six outfield players and one goalkeeper. The outfield player can touch the ball with any part of their body above the knee. Only the goalkeeper can touch with any part of his body. The player can run with the ball from a maximum of three steps. Hold it for three seconds when they're standing still. But can also dribble the ball and only the goalkeeper is allowed inside the six metre goal area. The semicircle around that goal. Well, Paul Bray here with you for this match, joined today by Anand Tiagi. Couldn't have asked for a better start to the day than in the company of Paul Bray, and that's the match we have for you. Maharashtra Ironman taking on Garvit Gujarat. Now, Maharashtra Ironman, top of the league with three wins in their first four games, while Garvit Gujarat are fifth on the points table, coached by MC Venugopal. They have a solitary win in four games to show for their efforts. But what happened last night? They beat the Delhi Panzers, did the Maharashtra Ironman 41-31. They led from the front and were 21-12 up by halftime. Never looked back and showed the Ironman quality synonymous with their name. Sumit Kumar was on fire, firing in 11 goals for Dr. Sunil Kumar's team. He got Giselle off from uh, Moldova. Was at his usual consistent best with uh, eight goals. While Jalal Kiani, the Iranian, fired in six goals of his own for a margin. That was 10 goals, no less. And a rampaging victory for the Maharashtra Ironmen who lead quite comfortably at the top as far as their goal difference is concerned but nervously at the top because they've got a side level with them, with them in terms of points Paul. So All right, we are just up. about Sorry. to welcome the teams and first the Maharashtra Ironmen. So here they come then, led out by their captain Igor Chisilyov with a superb performance for the team so far, 33 goals. They started up with a one-goal defeat on the opening day, but have won all three matches since then, including a 43-28 win over the Golden Eagles. This is the Dream 11 starting seven for them. In goal, they will have Deshwal at the back. It will be the usual Kumar, Kiani, Chisilyov with Aman and Sharma on the wings and uh, Shubham Kumar on the line. So they are just about getting warmed up. Garvit Gujarat were trailing 17-16. That's by a solitary goal at halftime before they went on to score 15 goals in the second half to level the scoreline at 31 apiece. They denied UP their first win and as a result, UP remained the only winless side in the competition. But who are the seven men who are tasked with uh, getting uh, getting their two points on the board today? Let's have a look at them once again. Farhad in goal for them, Amit in that playmaker or pivot position, Avin and Harinder the wings, Tarun and Mohit uh, will be the left and the right backs respectively and... Nice. So those are the seven men tasked with getting two points for the team from Gujarat. Now Mohit Gangas led the way for Gujarat with eight goals. Mukhtar Tulivoyev, the 24-year-old from Uzbekistan, scored seven goals. And despite Bhushan Shinde's uh, efforts for UP and their keeper Umid Raza being at his inspirational best, not just his saves but also his distribution, it was the first draw of the season and the only so far. 31-31 was the final scoreline then between the Golden Eagles, Uttar Pradesh and Garvit Gujarat. There are some of the highlights from uh, that game. And it's safe to say that was an absolute cliffhanger. Quick reminder, Gujarat were trading 17-16 before they scored 15 goals in the second half to level the scoreline at 31 apiece. So here are the coaches, Dr. Sunil Kumar, who's done such an excellent job with the Maharashtra Ironman, hoping to maintain their winning uh, form now as they go forwards. On the other bench, well, that is uh, Sunil Kumar, but maybe not the one we're talking about. And uh, for the uh, Gavi Gujarat, the head coach, MC Venugopal. And, uh, he saw a point slip away yesterday. The referees for the match today, Dalal Al Nasim and Mali Alenezi from Q8. So the team's warming up now, getting ready for this game. The Maharashtra Ironman's last match 
really showed that they are real potential as a finalist for this uh, tournament. But of course, we have many, many uh, twists and turns to go yet. This is the Dream 11 star players. Jalal Kiani, Igor Chiselyov, the ones to look out for the Fermat Rastra Ironman, along with Deshwal in goal, and Mohit Gangas and Amit Gangas for the Garvit Gujarat team. There is Jalal Kiani. He is on 33 goals, the uh, third top scorer in the competition. These are some of his uh, six goals in the last match with a 67% efficiency, which is very good for a back player. He really was on fire. Didn't matter whether the defence came out or in, and then a lovely spin shot there was maybe the pick of his goals in that match. But in the other team, there's another attacker in Mohit Gangas, who's been ever so good for them. 27 goals and counting so far of the 43 shots that he's attempted at goal. This was his performance in match number 10. Eight goals and a 53% shot efficiency. Not to forget, 18 of these goals have come from a six-meter range. He's quite a handful with his assists as well. So watch out for Mohit Gangas along with his uh, namesake in Amit Gangas. So these two the star players then. 33 goals for Jalal Kiani, 27 for Mohit Gangas. 34 assists between the two of them. A 73% shot efficiency for Jalal Kiani from Iran. While Mohit Gangas has uh, lived up to the billing so far with 63% shot efficiency and counting. And that 73% is a, a huge total for a back player where 60 mid 60s is good for them really doing very well there in that uh, in that respect so a reminder of the teams the maharashtra and men the starting seven down the left hand side deshwal who's had a superb match here he got Chiselyov is their captain the substitutes on the right will be very active and very involved unlimited substitutions in handball most of them will play some good part in the match for garvey gujarat their starting seven on the left there with uh, avin katkar their captain Shafifi Alavijay will start in goal, the Iranian, while Dinesh will be on the bench, and he has had a very strong tournament as well. Time for the countdown then, for the Premier Handball League. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, India, Kerega, And here we go then, the Maharashtra Ironman throw off this game, playing from left to right in the yellow shirts against Garvid Gujarat in the yellow as well. Let's hope they've got a change of clothing. Good. Okay. Happy with that? That worked really well. And I like, I like the script. Very good. It's excellent.
person like this. It means seven meter when he, he have a clear chance to score and that is destroyed from a uh, defender player. Yes. All right, and what about for a two minute suspension? Two minute suspension means uh, before the two minute, showing uh, two minutes, we uh, stop the time like this with the three uh, small uh, three whistle and uh, then we show the two minutes for the player. After that, we show the body language, what the defender do. If he ah. hold the player or push the player, or Winning. hit the player uh, in the face. And we've got our first two minutes suspension of the game. I think a bit of a high arm. Yeah, caught him very high. Okay, and the other day you were explaining to me about passive play. Can you explain to us once again? Yeah. We show this signal for the passive play. It means uh, no active attack from the attacker player. After four passes, we change position. Yeah, caught him very high. I had a bit of a high arm. Yeah, caught him very high. Okay, and the other day you were explaining to me about passive play. Can you explain to us once yeah. again? We show this signal for the passive play. It means uh, no active attack from the attacker player. After four passes, we change position uh, of the ball. Yeah. So it keeps the pace of the game going. Yes. Now we've heard of yellow cards and we heard of red cards, but in handball, there's a blue card as well. Can you show us the blue card? Yes. Yeah, and this is the blue card, and we use it for uh, something happen not related to, to the game. Uh, like we, when the game is stopped, uh, any player hits the other player or insult the referee or also the players. Like that we use it. And we show it without smile. <laughs> yes. And the player cannot uh, be uh, played uh, the next uh, game if we, if we show the blue card. Yes. Ah, so we suspended yes. for two games. Yes, two games. Well, thank you guys so much. It's always a joy to watch you. I have learned a lot from them, friends. I hope you will learn a lot from them too.
प्रीमियर हैंडबॉल लीग इंडिया के घर घर में हैंडबॉल पहुंचा रहा है और हमारे साथ दो इंटरनेशनल रेफरीज जुड़े हुए हैं एंड जो हमें समझाएंगे प्रीमियर हैंडबॉल लीग इंडिया के घर घर में हैंडबॉल पहुंचा रहा है और हमारे साथ दो इंटरनेशनल रेफरीज जुड़े हुए हैं एंड जो हमें समझाएंगे रेफरी के अलग अलग हैंड सिग्नल्स और उनके मतलब लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक्स गाइस व्हाट इज द सिग्नल फॉर अ गोल एज यू सी टू शॉर्ट विसल एंड हैंड सिग्नल प्रीमियर हैंडबॉल लीग इंडिया के घर घर में हैंडबॉल पहुंचा रहा है और हमारे साथ दो इंटरनेशनल रेफरीज जुड़े हुए हैं एंड जो हमें समझाएंगे रेफरी के अलग अलग हैंड सिग्नल्स और उनके मतलब लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक्स गाइस व्हाट इज द सिग्नल फॉर अ गोल एज यू सी टू शॉर्ट विसल एंड हैंड सिग्नल And can you show us the signal for foul? Yes. Yeah, yeah we have like a short uh, uh, whistle and long whistle if there is more strong uh, like effects. And what about for a 7 meter throw or free throw? It's also a long uh, whistle like this. It's mean 7 meter when he have a clear chance to score and there is destroyed from a defender player. Yes. All right, and what about for a 2 minute suspension? Two minutes suspension mean uh, before the two minute showing uh, two minutes, we uh, stop the time like this with the three uh, small uh, three whistle, and uh, then we show the two minutes for the player. After that, we show the body language. What the defender do if he ah. hold the player or push the player or Winning. hit the player uh, in the face. And we've got our first two minutes suspension of the game. I think a bit of a high arm. Yeah, caught him very high. Okay, and the other day you were explaining to me about passive play. Can you explain to us once yeah. again? We show this signal for the passive play. It means uh, no active attack from the attacker player. After four passes, we change position uh, of the ball. Yeah. So it keeps the pace of the game going. Yes. Now we've heard of yellow cards and we heard of red cards, but in handball, there's a blue card as well. Can you show us the blue card? Yes. Yeah, and this is the blue card and we use it for uh, something happen not related to, to the game. Uh, like we, when the game is stopped, uh, any player hits the other player or insult the referee or also the players, like the two it. And we show it without smile. <laughs> yes. And the player cannot be played the next game if we, if we show the blue card. Yes. Ah, so we suspended yes. for two games. Yes, two games. Well, thank you guys so much. It's always a joy to watch you. I have learned a lot from you, friends. I hope you will learn a lot.